What's up, Facebook fam? Welcome to the word to the world. Today, I want to talk about this thing called courage. Courage is the ability to do something that frightens one. Here's another definition. Courage is strength in the face of pain or grief. Courage is one of those things that uh, it, we, we leave it up to our heroes, to our first responders, and all those kinds. Of, but do you know that you're called to have courage as well? I want to read one quick scripture uh, that kind of, uh, and I'm going to tell the story about three young men who exercised this thing called courage. It says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him. They're talking to King Nebuchadnezzar. and said, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we're thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. Now listen, these three young men uh, were facing certain death. And if they were to be thrown into this fiery furnace, surely they were going to die. They understood something about courage. One, their courage is risky. They knew that they could die. They knew that, that to do, to take this stand was countercultural. In fact, the king had declared and decreed that that everybody, he had built a golden image. It was some nine feet tall. It was a big golden image. And he had said, everybody is to bow down and worship this golden image that I've built. And these three young men, they refused to bow down because they only worshiped one true and living God. And they refused to compromise. But watch this. Because not only is courage risky, compromise is easy. They could, have, they could have just gone with the flow. They could have even justified it. Here's what they could have said. They could have said, well, King Nebuchadnezzar, you are the one who put us in this position. You are the one who, uh, who has given us a position in the kingdom. And so because of that, we could have been justified in, uh, in bowing down. But, but here's what happened. Uh, in, instead, of, instead of bowing down, they went against the culture and they took a stand. Now listen, they knew it was risky and they know that they didn't compromise even though their faith was under fire, literally. That's exactly what happens. When, you're, when your faith, their faith was literally under fire. If they did not go with the flow of the culture, they would literally be, be killed. They would be thrown into the, the fiery furnace. But watch this, their courage was all in. And let me just tell you something, when you're all in with God, God will get all in with you. So here's what happens in the story. King Nebuchadnezzar unfortunately has to say, you three young men are to be thrown in the furnace. They take them up. Even the men who were escorting them to the furnace were killed because he had the flame turned up seven times hotter than it normally would have been. But their courage, they, they, were, they were determined to honor their God. Remember what they said, King, King Nebuchadnezzar, we're not quick to answering you in this. Our God, the God we serve, he is able to get us out of this nonsense. He's able to get us out of this mess. And even if he doesn't do so, just know, King, we still ain't going to bow down and worship your God. And so listen, they, he ends up throwing them in. The people who were escorting them in died. They were in the fiery furnace. And all of a sudden, a fourth appears. Because I told you, when you're all in with God, then God will get all in with you. And there they are in the middle of the fiery furnace. And here it is. The angel of the Lord shows up with them. And not a hair on their head was burned. Why? Because of their courage. Because of their courage, God honored them. And of course, King Nebuchadnezzar came to the edge of the, of the furnace. He says, listen, I see a boy. He says, he called them out. And let me tell you what happens as a result of their courage. Can I just read it to you? It says, then Nebuchadnezzar said, praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. Listen, they trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any God except their own God. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces and their houses be burned in the piles of rubble for no other God can save in this way. Listen, they took a stand for God and God stood with them. 
I want you to know that in this day and age, listen, there's so much that it's easy to go countercultural. It's easy to stand with the ways of this world. But listen, God has not called us to go with the culture. God has called us to take the stand in the face of pain, in the face of grief. And as long as we do that, and we are all in with God, rest assured that God will be all in with us. Until tomorrow, peace.